Hi, let's talk about why functional programming is so afraid of mutability. Because in modern applications, uh, we need to leverage multiple cores of a CPU and we need to use multi threads to parallelly process the data. But the hardest part of multi core uh, applications and multi thread applications is uh, keeping the object states. So uh, we have multiple CPUs or multiple CPU cores or multiple threads on the same CPU core and they are dealing with the same common data at the same time and if they change uh, the object states at the same time uh, some unexpected values may be uh, accessed by some CPUs so this is the reason of all the bugs in a concurrent application so that's why we are trying to synchronize the data the common data that's why we are using synchronized keywords barriers semaphores logs mutexes and they are really so hard to use correctly when you synchronize some object i mean if you lock some object and some other process or thread is waiting for this object to be unlocked uh, it may wait these objects uh, eternally that is called as a deadlock and in a concurrent application it is so possible to face a deadlock or thread starving that means waiting for a locked object to be unlocked okay if some common value is being modified by several threads or several processes some unexpected values may be faced by some of the processes so again this is an unexpected behavior undesired behavior that's why we are trying to synchronize the data so you see that we are dealing with the object states all the time so this is devil this is the root of all the bugs all the uh, risks okay so we created this devil intentionally ourselves by java developers but from now on uh, from java 8 we are trying to get rid of mutability with applying uh, the functional programming elements in next video i will try to explain how to architect a concurrent application